Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Springfield Armory Elite 9mm handgun, but it's not this one. This is an Elite 4.5 with a 4.5 inch barrel, full size, full size grip, 20 round magazines. The Elite models have wider slide serrations both in the front and the rear, a flat trigger that breaks right around four and a half pounds, very nice trigger pull, short reset. A flared magwell, nice grip texturing. The 4.5 model has a U rear sight and a fiber optic front sight. Aligns really well along with the pick rail. I've loved this gun. It has performed very well. And I've had it for a couple years. But also there's an upgraded version to this. And that's what this video is about. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I just picked this up. It's a XDM Elite OSP optical sight pistol threaded. The differences, clearly the color, flat dark earth, polymer frame, cerakoted, flat dark earth slide. I think it looks super cool. It has a hex dragonfly on here. However, the hex dragonfly has the same footprint as a vortex venom. So you can put a vortex venom on there or any other red dot that accepts that footprint and so that that's a bit of a variety that's a popular red dot has the pick rail there a threaded barrel with a 5.28 inch barrel so that is uh, much larger than the 4.5 inch barrel but the the grip texturing same slide serrations the ambidextrous controls with both the slide stop and the magazine release it's pretty common on the XDM models, and they added it with the Elite. Now, this also has the same meta trigger. It's what Springfield calls it, match enhanced trigger assembly. Breaks right around four and a half pounds. All right, and we'll take a look at that. Right there. The second click is the actual reset. You hear two. But it also has suppressor height sights, which is very cool. Serrated black. It does co-witness with the red dot. I try not to do that. I try to focus on the red dot instead of co-witness. But it's kind of cool when sighting in the red dot gives you a good idea of where you're going to hit. And then you go check it out. All metal. And then a very tall front sight. MSRP on this is $733. I see it right around the mid 600 sometimes 630 and I think for all that you get, it's not a bad deal at all. 22 round mags, they do give you two of those, as well as a couple additional back straps, magazine, flat base plates, a lock, paperwork, padded case, all for an MSRP of 733. I took it to the range, I shot it, I thought pretty well. At first my dot wasn't on as well as I had hoped, and then I had to monkey with it a little bit, and I always like the ones that have a flathead screwdriver uh, adjustment there instead of a, a hex wrench. It's just easier because I always have one of those in my range bag. But I like everything this offers. The 22 round mags, that's, that's pretty cool. Now when I took this to the range, shot it very well. Let's go ahead and check that out and we'll come back and talk more about it. Additional features include the grip safety. A lot of people, they either love it, they don't care, or they hate it. And I fall under the category, I don't care, because I want a high grip on the gun. To me, it's irrelevant. Every 1911 I own has a grip safety, and nobody says a thing about it. So it does force a high grip. It has a cocked striker indicator right there, very common with the XDM models as well as this one right there, okay, so you can see if your slide has been charged. It has a loaded chamber indicator bar right there. And everything else pretty much covered it with the 22 round mags. The flared mag well is removable. I don't know if I mentioned that, but you can see that's quite a bit of a flare there for 
quick mag changes just kind of slide it in there it'll make its way in with with that flare but if you don't like that you can remove it i think it actually looks pretty cool the way it is but i've, I've removed those on other handguns that i own and this one i'm going to keep it on but anyhow very nice overall package now let's take a look at these two here we have the flat dark earth we'll take a look at the barrel length all right so 4.5 5.28 let's see i didn't have that perfectly aligned there it is all right so that's inch inch point three or whatever slide serrations the same trigger the same trigger guard the same color different mag capacity two additional rounds I love this I've really shot this well but the sights are very different suppressor height sights on the left with the threaded model and the Hellcat like sights on the right with the 4.5 inch model but overall great handguns I, I I like the way all this comes in the case the red dot doesn't but it's optic ready OSP optical sight pistol for an MSRP of 733 now why do I like this? It's extremely accurate, and it's been reliable, and this has too. Now, I'm more speaking on behalf of this one because I've owned it longer and have a lot more round through it. I've taken this to the range once, and I have to say, initially, my red dot was a little off, and I had to tweak it a little bit, and then I, I got it dialed in a little better, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Love full-size handguns. It just builds confidence and instills the, the fact that you still can hit those targets sometimes when you don't, when you don't feel like you can anyways. But overall, it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take it apart. We'll drop the mag, show clear. We'll raise this up here, and off comes the slide. Has a dual recoil spring and then to take this barrel out i'd have to remove the thread cap so i'm not going to do that but all metal guide rod nice overall package now when i when i shot this i felt no recoil like none zero no recoil and and that's just my impressions with it i, I thought it was great and i feel very little with this you know it's a nine millimeter Okay, and a full-size gun, you don't expect to feel any recoil, but it really stayed on target. So that's that's my uh, my take on my newest handgun, the XDM Elite 5.28 threaded barrel OSP model. I think it's cool. I really enjoyed it at the range, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this as time goes by. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.